he's just gonna he's gonna use the caustic spray. That's so a new this new ability, is a new of ability. course. The corruptor after it basically dumps on this nexus for about four or five seconds, it goes up to something like 35 damage per second and completely destroys buildings. He snipes the main nexus of Drogo. Drogo going for the counterattack. He's got the Phoenix moving in. He's trying to pick up some of these Hydras, trying to deny this position. There's no Lurkers here. He's on top of the Lurkers before they can finish up. He's going to kill two of them before they immediately pop. There's the transfuse. Saves one of the Lurkers. Second Lurker is in the back, dealing a tremendous amount of damage here, but the Hydralists are getting jumped on by those Zealots. They're cleaving and weaving through everything here. Drogo's army is slowly being whittled down. The natural expansion is being sniped right now. That damage up. But oh. 45 drones have been killed. Yeah, I think Bly's just losing too much. If those Lurkers would have finished up. I think it would have been a different hold. But now he just doesn't really have a whole lot left anymore. This Corruptor, will it get the Nexus? Yes, he it barely will. gets the natural. Oh and now I love the War Prism, though, because that's going to be so hard. When you know your opponent is broke, he can't potentially have, or he can't possibly have units everywhere. So he may have a very strong defense in one position, oh, but the main base is spire, so exposed. The Greater Spire under production is under fire. He doesn't want to move all the Lurkers up, but that's going to be his cue to push in. He has the Spore up front, but there's just too much Archons powering through these Lurkers, and I think he should be able to pick all this off and get his way to the third base. Yep, I, I don't think there's anything that Bly can do anymore. He's down 50 supply, he lost all of the Lurkers, will again end up losing a lot of drones over here, and it seems like Drogo is going to have an excellent start to these Grand Finals. Yeah, I mean, this is a map you need to pick up. This is such a good PvZ map, getting this this early on, this first win is so crucial for him as he mops up the third base and continues to warp Zealots inside of Bly's base. There is one Lurker just barely hanging in there, but he's lost another 28 drones. And Drogo now up almost 100 supply, Roddy. When you have five Archons in your opponent's main base, you know you've done something right as a Protoss player. When you killed so many drones already as well, the Lurker then is going to be able to take it. Uh, he's going to be able to take it down. And that is it. GG. Drogo takes game number one here at the DreamHack Zoe Open Grand Finals. I always love Drogo's reactions after the game because I really just feel like it's so easy to read his face. He always like, he looks like that was a messy game, but I'm so happy I won it. You know, like yeah, yeah. he has great facial I mean, reactions. Think about what we were talking about with, with Todd and Sean, like just that position where you know you're going to later on have to play Olrena Central Protocol. If this series goes on long, you need to pick up the early wins on these maps where you're a little bit more, you know, have, have better chance, I guess. And I love this from Drogo, man. He's like, you're going to take a gold base, but I'm just going to do the exact same thing over here. We saw him try to do this against uh, TLO, I believe. Uh, he even he, he even started it. Doesn't look like. So all of a sudden, these adepts are here trying to get a drone or two, but oh, now Lynx are going to run straight into the main base. The and he pylon. Can get a pylon to prevent the warp gate. He can prevent it from building any more adepts. The only units right now that Drogo has on the other side of the map. There are queens there to defend. He's going to work on this pylon. Two more get started up by Drogo inside of his main base. Bly prevents the production, prevents the warp gate. Still no mother oh, support being surround. built. This run's actually very big deal, so he won't lose more. He is only on 14 drones, though. Keep this in mind. Bly right now only has 14 drones. Whatever he's doing here is great, but he needs to do more than he's done so far. That's right. A lot of those probes did evacuate down to the gold base, where they are getting a little bit more efficient mining here. Two more adepts are on the oh. way. He won't be able to deny those pylons, but he's killing seven, eight probes. Bly is so good with his rally points, man. He's always avoiding overlords in CVZ, and now he's also avoiding adepts in ZVP. Very smart early game play here by Bly, and he's putting himself in a phenomenal position. He's up in workers now, and he still has so many Zerglings. He's far and, from done there. Yeah, now he's got his Zergling speed. He can run around a little bit more. Those fo the, excuse me, the pylon's gonna try to clean those Zerglings up, but still so many more probes died. He still has the links. He's saying, yep, don't you even think about moving your units across the map. <laughs> 15 probes went down. We're Oof. looking at 23 drones right now for our Ukrainian Zerg player <laughs> against only 12 probes. They're already on the other side of the map. There's and one pilot there. here come the Ravagers. A Dark Shrine starts in the main base, but he's got a long time before that finishes up. Can the pylons hold on against this pressure? If that Dark Shrine was a little bit faster, it would have been incredibly scary because not a single sport crawl on the map and no layer means no overseers. But Bly just has so many units over here, so I don't think we'll ever see that Dark Shrine into play unless Drogo makes a miraculous. I mean, Old. He's taking shots from three pylons at a time. Now he's going to push in, trying to break through the adepts. They're getting a tremendous amount of damage in on this, but three Ravagers still here. Ling streaming across the map. He's eating up the Protoss army. Drogo is being pushed back into his main base. No more energy in the Mothership Corps means no more Photon Overcharge, and the Ravagers continue to push through. Yeah, of course, the Bowels being used until still, though. Drogo doing a very good job so far in defending, and it actually seems like he has sort of stabilized. I mean, he's still in a rough spot. There's still way more army supply on the map for 
Bly. But if Drogo keeps buying time with these photon overcharges, if he cleans this up, that Dark Shrine, did he spot it? Oh, he did spot it. Okay, very important for Bly. But was he looking there? Very, very important. Does he has he started a spark caller? At we least do one. have one. That's yeah. it's something. Yeah, exactly. This army does get his way. And you said it. Bly, you recognize what's happening. He's got a bunch of spore crawlers now. The DT kills some drones, but he's got forces in position to defend and keep this game going. And yeah. he's finished his lair. Mm -hmm. Yep, so he's going to have access to overseers as well. And that's very important. And might even be able to save his fort base. But even if he doesn't, he's done a lot of damage. And Drogo, his tech is still very limited. Drogo is trying to go up to three bases, though. And he's also having Blink on the way. But I do think that Bly is not done here with piling on the pressure. He wants to attack more. Drogo and more. has made a really good effort in trying to survive. But I think this is really it. Fly has done it. He's broken the army once again of Drogo. The pylons this time are not going to be enough to stop him from inching his way forward, inching his way closer to taking his first map in this grand final. A few more overcharges do get cast, but Bly continues to push in, continues to attack, looking for victory, looking to settle the score in this matchup, and he will do it. The Stalker is doing everything they can to fight back, but there's just too many Ravagers, too many Roaches, more and more pouring across the map. <laughs> the defensive DTs, he killed the Overseer. He's actually starting to clean this up. He killed his own Roach there as well with a cross of Vile. Mutiny. Oh! Oh, he killed the Dark Templar, sick cross and Vile. Who needs Oversteers? GG! Bly ties it up 1-1. One, <laughs> one. That's really cool. <laughs> That's one of those moments where you're just like, okay, I guess I got to pull back, get an Oversteer, and then go kill you. But then he's like, nah, man, boom, boom. Definitely one of the Island? things that he's going to have to worry about, of course, with this Ling. Oh, she gets in, so might actually get a probe or two, get some information. The pylon not in range to hit those Zerglings as he runs by. Yeah. Bly well, always seems to be able to get these kind of disrupting plays going on. Did he get the Overlord? No, right? Uh, no. no. Okay, that's very important. Would have been very uh, unfortunate for Bly to lose an Overlord in this phase in the game. Bly, Bly will be building a legacy wow. of Overlords getting away from Petit Drogo. He's actually getting some pretty decent value out of just four links. On uh, Dust Towers, he made way more links. This time it's just four links. And he's able to pick off two drones, or and, excuse me, two probes, and a little bit of lost mining time. And like Dusk Towers, Drogo responds by saying, all right, third base time, let's go. just get that, we'll handle this. Drogo needs to spot this immediate, uh, indeed immediately. There's no additional tech down for Bly, no Spire. I love this by Bly. Bly's like taking out the rocks. He's like, yeah, stand at uh, high air force, but here come the roaches. There's the Zealots, there's the Adams. Uh, he needs to get the overcharge going. There we go, all the pylons oh immediately God. spinning like tops <laughs> and wrecking this roach army. That's a lot of DPS out of those six, seven, five. Islands. Obviously, not a whole lot of Mothership Core energy left after this wave of Photon Oak Charge, but uh, now he's able to queue up an Immortal. He's going to make a second robotics facility as well, and it seems like Photon Oak Charge was enough. Phoenix is coming back as well to lift up multiple roaches. I mean, I still feel like he's trying to trade out here, but the supply is still staying very close. Keep in mind, Bly did get that fourth base during all of this, but these roaches moving in, trying to snipe the sentries, going for the expensive units, and that folks an uh, overcharge so instrumental in preventing this from being super damning, and that fast observer also allowing him to clean up the roaches once they burrow. Yeah, I don't think that was uh, working out very well it's for Bly. have to be brought home because you cannot deal with multiple roaches unless he's just going to keep them there until Drogo decides to move across the map. Nah, he's just going to uh -uh. go for it right now, and I think that Bly should be able to kill 15, 20 probes over here. Yeah, this is a super frustrating position to be oh in for God. Drogo, 18 probes have died in the making of this game. 15 hydras are on the way. He's got the lurker then finishing up behind this. Wow. Immortal production is going, but he's taken critical damage. Yeah. 29 probes this have insane. been destroyed in the last 30 seconds of this game. 39 workers versus 60, Roddy. Bly does need it. a very strong defensive setup, though. I feel like a lot of his units are a little bit clumped up. Maybe this is a decent engagement. I think Drogo's going to go for it here. The Zealots are charging in. The force fields keep the hydras in place. He's going to drop those crossbow piles to break the force fields, but he's already lost so many of his hydras. A phenomenal engagement be here being taken wow. by Drogo. All of the immortals still alive. The Phoenix picking up everything else. The lurkers alone will not be we able. Have live, all right? Can we keep... Ooh, War Prism in the main See, base. Yeah, he has enough, but there's the War Prism inside of the main base. He's warping in a ton of forces, and he's going to charge into the Lurkers at the same time. So he pulls back. That's a lot of Lurkers to deal with. But as soon as he runs up to handle these Zealots, he could go for that attack as well. And the Spire is going to be taken down right as it finishes. Forces the cancel yeah. and a restart. I love that snipe on the Spire because the last thing ever that Drogo wanted to deal with right now were Brute Lords. You don't want to allow your opponent to get at the Brute Lords that easily. Look at this army. It would do absolutely nothing. And Drogo has not been that rich, so he can't drop 
like a fleet beacon and start three, four, five tempers right now. So buying time and delaying brood lords is very, very important. Yeah, he's taking a lot of damage from these lurkers, uh, though, as the observer has to get in cloud. position. They're gonna throw that blinding cloud, trying to push him back even more. There's the abducts grabbing those archons, pulling them into the army. There's still a lot of immortals to unleash hell on this horse. The zealots are still getting up close and personal. He needs to move the rest of the lurkers as the ones to the east have been eliminated. I, I, I think this has been going pretty okay for Bly. He lost the fort base. That really hurts. He needs to go back to the lurkers. Where are they? Tempest in the back, and the air strength does not exist for Bly to kill that air army. He's going to try to abduct the mothership, pulls into the spores, pulls it back even further, but the mothership stands strong and dies as the storms rain hell upon Bly's army, and Drogo looking to go up two games in this best of seven. I think he's just about done it. He's slowly but steadily working his way through. There's nothing here to contest the Tempest of Drogo. Had to work damn hard for it, though, but he's going to be able to secure a 2-1 lead in this grand finals, as GG is called. But it wasn't easy, Nate. For this map being as good for Protoss as it is, he had to work very, very yeah, hard. He's, he's trying to block, but he doesn't uh, get into position in time. That uh, sport crawler not quite rooted. He's gonna let it finish. He's gonna let it finish. These adapts are gonna show up in the natural here over from, from Lai. Yeah, and the Oracle comes in from behind as well. Both Oracles with those adapts on hold position, so every drone in range will get attacked. Wow. The Oracles are just gonna work on the Roach Warren apparently for a little bit here. Some Roaches, five in production, but Adam's swing over to the main base. And right now we're really seeing Petit Drogo. He's, he's making something happen here. He's getting some chaos cause, and he's up in workers now while he takes his third base. Yep, this is all that he was looking for, and he's actually doing a phenomenal job in everything. Like, it's 46 probes against 33 drones right now. There are no storms raining over all these hydrolytes. A couple of lurkers are, excuse me, Ravagers are morphing as well. Drogo's just going to go for it forward. Yeah, blink. he blinks on top of the army. The Ravagers are going to finish up, throws the corrosive vials, but so much Protoss is moving in. 121 supply to 109 as Bly continues to fall back towards his third base. The drone's coming off the line, but the Oracles are here too. More Hydralis finishing up. He's got so much in the air on top of this, though, and the Oracle's instrumental in shutting down this defense. He's up 30, 40 supply. Drogo potentially putting himself one game away from winning this championship as he mops up the natural expansion. There's nothing here for Bly to stop this attack. He lost everything. They lost all the Hydras, lost the Ravages. He wasn't ready. If this would have come 30 seconds later, he would have been, but GG is called. Drogo up 3-1. A phenomenal play on Arena, a map that we talked about before this. A lot of people saying, hey man, this is where Bly reigns supreme. The game gets distracted, and this Overlord yeah, now that's it. morphing, you know, he sees those things, he's got to be thinking to himself, what are well, my opponent's options? Sport crawlers are hella late, don't they? Just now they are morphing in, and I'm uh -oh. not sure if there are too many queens, so I think this Oracle should be able to have a field day over here. Don't go for the third base, don't fight this queen. Just go either for the ah, main or the natural. He's starts to pile on in the bottom left of his main right as that overlord gets there and here comes the oracle That's into the main five, base mineral line focusing drones. Ding down those drones. drones the queen doing everything they can to buy time only three drones oh. do get picked up and the links are in the main base there's no pylon by the main base mineral line so the links are going to get some oh, damage the and against these pros and he kills the these links. it's a pretty big investment oh, but he is up economically down, hold position, position in the mineral line well. killing those probes six picked off already and those adams they do tournament everything on the line holding this harass taking some advantage from the workers that he's killed. The Adepts are going, they're on the ramp between the main base and the natural. The Queens are getting the shots off. 10 Roaches in production. The Oracle starting to clear up the links. He's gonna phase into the main base mineral and he still has not gotten on the drones. He's looking to kill wow. the Queens, but the Roaches are gonna start to pop out. Will they be in time to defend this attack? The Oracles are killing the drones that are trying to move between the two bases. Nine drones killed off already. Yeah, Drogo is doing some serious work here. There's not, uh, there is actually a third Nexus on the way, so this is phenomenal regardless of what's going to happen here. The Oracle, such smart positioning, always outside of range of these queens and that allows these adepts to just kill all these links and sometimes a queen that's exposed as well uh drogo is just doing oh, this so good oh. he's picking up more drones those oracles mvp of this he game more Helping damage to so see if he can pick up a few more queens there's of course a void rain that makes as well these roaches are not in a good position they yeah i mean he's getting a lot of work done here but there's no pylon no war prism mm. he can't reinforce this very easily and he's gonna be pushed back the mothership core is here to take a recall if he needs it he is bleeding out quite a few of his units though the sentry yeah. in the front getting picked off and like you said those stalkers don't have blink he's just relying on the void rays to help chow down on that i mean he is of course getting ready to transition into archons eventually immortals and and charge 
slots, but still, he lost a lot of adepts and stocks there. He has the Watchtower next to the other hatch. And here's those that drop. He drops on top of the Queen. And he's got the units in position. At the same time, the big army's going to move into that northeast base to knock it down. The forces here are not ready. No, the Vipers run straight into the Archons. One of them immediately dies. He's got to pull back. This base cannot be saved. The army is going to come up. Will he be able to pick off enough of these forces? He's trying to collect some energy off that extractor before it dies. Gets the Warp Prism, but does Bly have enough to capitalize on this army position? Time Warp gets thrown down. Marishim Corps dies immediately. If I was Drogo right now, I'd just be happy with this pickoff and go he back and find an offensive blink or something like that, even though there is no blink now. But I, I think that's smart. You know, we, we mentioned that in the previous game, he could have saved the base. He's going to end up losing his, his fourth base again. His aggression is so good. Every army unit rushes in for Bly to defend while that base gets knocked down. The Zealots keep pushing forward the Infestors all alone here as this army starts to come down. And there's the High Templar. Great feedbacks killing the Infestors. But here are the Broodlords, and this is where things get a little rough, I think, for Drogo, unless he's going to put the Archons right below it. One Storm does go down, but I do not think that Bly should lose his third base here. A lot of Hydras coming from the main base right now. Storms are dealing so much damage, though, but Bly should be able to clean this yeah, up, right? Yeah, it seems like he's out of Storms at this point, so the Hydras can continue to push forward with the Roaches, and he's going to get Drogo out of his base. Bly barely holding here, but he lost 26 Drogo. So it's important. He's secured another base. Good revelation, actually, to, to tag this army. But he's got the Vipers now. Is he going to be able to pull some of these forces back? Grabs on one of the Archons. But, uh, is there enough anti here to kill the Tempest if he pulls those in? Grabs one. It dies. Gets number two. Also, they put the Storms hitting this army in a big, big way as the Zealots continue to charge through. He grabs the Mothership Core. That will die as well. He's doing everything that he can. Another great Storm coming in. And Drogo, he's pushing in. He's pushing in for the victory. Trying to secure this Dream Act title. He just might be able to get it right now with the 4-1 over Bly. The man on fire has been extinguished. 60 supply to 128. There is nothing left to stop these Tempests, these Archons, these Immortals. Two more Broodlords on the way, but it's not going to be enough. Everything getting ripped to shreds by Drogo. He's trying to get out a few more Roaches, Nate, but I'm with you. Uh, Drogo is going to be able to win his first big StarCraft tournament ever in his career. As he has Void Race, Immortals, Zealots just ravaging everything that Bly has to offer. Bly trying to make a last ditch effort here. Desperation hold, but there is no answer to anything that Drogo has. There's just too much in his base. These Tempests assailing him from afar. More rallied across the map. Drogo did a phenomenal job of securing his economy and constantly putting on pressure with those Zealots, with those Oracles, and he has reaped the benefits. He is going to be your champion here at DreamHack Zoe Open. This is a phenomenal result for him. One of the closest four ones I think we'll have ever seen. GG Drogo is your champion. Drogo, yesterday when I spoke with you, you said that you could not believe that you were already in the finals, that it wasn't hitting you, but I hope it's hitting you now because you are a StarCraft II champion. You just pocketed $16,000, 1,000 WCS points. All that hard effort is now paying off. What is going through your head? Oh, uh, you know, like yesterday, I was just a random dude, like trying to be the best. And even tomorrow, like, I'm just going to go back into the ring and I'm going to have to prove everything all over again. But today, I'm a champion. Today, I'm the fucking best.